Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of my videos. So, in today's video, I'm going to be drawing a jack-o'-lantern using only two colors. And those two colors are going to be orange and purple. I chose those two colors because they complement each other well, and also because they're Halloween colors and I needed it to go with the theme of the drawing and... The reason why I chose a jack-o'-lantern and those two colors is because it is the month of Halloween. It is October and I have not drawn anything Halloween themed yet. So this is going to be my first Halloween themed drawing on this channel and hopefully you guys like it. All right, so I'm going to start talking about more. I'm going to start talking more about this drawing. So... When I did this drawing, I it actually didn't take that long. It's actually a pretty simple drawing for myself. I feel like the only hard thing was trying to find my reference photo. Because originally, I did this for school. And I don't know if you know this, but in um, where I live, or just in my school system, they had a... PA, we had like a PA day or not really, but we didn't have to go to school or join a meet and we had to work asynchronously. So basically, yeah, we asynchronously when we, what, what I mean by that is uh, doing our work asynchronously. We don't have to join a meet or go to school, yada, yada, yada. All right. Um, so I spent the day I spent the day doing my work and then I saved art for last because it is my it is the last subject that I have in school so and it's my favorite so yeah I, I decided to do I decided to save the best for last so it actually took me a while to find a perfect photo and I actually didn't even end up using one uh, using a photo because I couldn't find the perfect one and I need to use a jack-o'-lantern and all the other jack-o'-lanterns uh, photos on Pinterest or on uh, Google I, I didn't really uh, want to use them so I just tried making one of my own and I'm trying to get used to working without a reference photo because then it'll help me when it's like just uh, in school or someone asked me to do like a quick drawing without a reference photo then I can, you know, get better and improve at that. So, um, all right. So when you're using to only, say you're going to do this as well, and you're only using two colors, I suggest when you're doing the shading, use the darker color for the, for the shading area. So I, for example, I chose orange and purple. So instead of using the orange for the shading area, I use the purple because it was a darker color. And you see how in this photo I made the per uh, the purple the like the darker sides after it looked more like the shadow like it was like dark on one side and light on the other. So if you're using only two colors or you're just using colors in general, try using darker colors for the shading area and it'll really improve your artwork and and make it look more 3d i will do more stuff on this but um i am just starting my channel so i won't exactly have tutorials on it yet but i'm working towards that um so also when you're choosing two colors make and you're choosing the your two colors make sure they uh they fit well together and you can either just make sure they fit well together. Make sure they complement each other. So, orange and purple. Anytime I th anytime I think of that, like I think yeah, they look. I think they look good together. But I also think of Halloween, so which is also why I chose those colors for this. Because I could have chose purple and green for like you know a cauldron and a witch, or a. Uh, orange and black but I wanted it to, to be like a almost a vibrant color as well so I chose purple also when you are drawing and you are using color make sure you sketch your object or your portrait or just whatever you're drawing out first and then use color because it's a big mistake especially if you're a beginner 
to use your to use color to sketch it out because if you make a mistake it's gonna stick there and it's gonna stay there and you'll even if you erase it somehow you'll still see a little print of what was of your mistake and it won't exactly uh fit well with the new colors that you were adding all right also even if like you're just coloring anything like it doesn't have to be you're doing this challenge exactly and i'm saying it's a challenge because it was a challenge <laughs> um try using uh multiple shades of the color so after you can get the perfect uh the perfect image the perfect drawing but also when you are drawing try using the colors or your pencil crayons or your just your pencil and when you're coloring it in make sure that you're going in a circular motion with your hand and instead of going just up and down, because if you go up and down, you can still kind of see when you started to draw the first part and then when you parted to do the next part. And it you can still kind of see uh, the way it, like, looks. Like, one part's darker than the other or one part's brighter than the other, and that's not what you want. So make sure you go in a circular motion and the colors will come out more naturally. All right, so it is close to the end of the video, so I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this, and hopefully you learned a little bit more on how to draw with using color. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, comment down below on what you think I should draw next, or email me at myrps1266 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching this, and well, bye, and here is the finished result.